Hey everybody, I'm J.D. Hoovener, your host of The Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor, entrepreneur, or business owner, get your daily inspiration to make the world a better place. All right, I'm going through all the steps needed to how to write and file your patent application. And it's my pleasure to walk you through the details and how we actually conduct business for our clients. We want to open up the books, show you what we do, so that you really understand the work that goes behind writing the detailed descriptions of what goes into a provisional patent application. So here we are, we're in step six today. This is the detailed description. This is where the fun happens, right? This is the biggest, most intense part of the written description. You should spend probably half or more of the time total just on this one step. So crack your knuckles, roll up your sleeves, get a nice hot cup of coffee. This is gonna be a doozy. You've got to really explore all possible versions and incorporate that into the one preferred embodiment. Go crazy. This is where you identify your, what I'm calling Cadillac version of your invention. This is where you wanna talk about that version that you're excited about, the one that's gonna hit the market, be on the store shelves, sell online, whatever it is that you think you wanna be on stage talking about, pitching, the one you are just can't wait to share with your neighbor, your best friend, your wife, or spouse, it's exciting. So um, it shouldn't be hard to get that spark going, uh, but I wanna make sure you hit all the key points, okay? So when you're doing this, when you're writing your description, make sure to think about the, the discrete steps. Um, don't skip anything, right? Imagine like you're trying to explain this to someone who is actually blind. No joke. Explaining your physical or composition of matter or even process invention to someone who hasn't been able to see the world. Talk about how each shape is moving, how each shape is connected to the next. What dynamic nature does it have? How does it relate to the next linkage? What color, what, what adaptation, what surface friction level? What does the rotation look like? Is it removable? Every little potential nuance uh, needs to be described. There's no limit in how boring and mundane and detailed you'll actually be able to describe this in. While it might start out being fun, you're gonna have to work really hard at getting all these nuanced details in there. So, I've laid out some of the description for you, but I can't provide a template because there's just nobody else out there that knows your invention as well as you do. So get to it, start working. Again, if you have questions, we're here to help. Uh, please visit our website at boldpatents.com. We've got a ton of good information on there. And we're always there to help, just pick up the phone. I'm JD Hoovener, your host of the Bold Today Show. Go big, go bold.